Hello everyone, my name is Mathieu from IBM Systems. Welcome to this second video about how to create customized groups and how to use them in ClickSense part 2. In this video, I'm going to show you how to assign security access at the application level through the ClickSense Management Console. Before starting, and like I said in the first video, this is not an introductory video of ClickSense, which means you need to be familiar with the currency interface, the streams, the security rules, the Active Directory, and all the ClickSense basic administration. Ok, now let's jump right into it. As a quick reminder of the configuration in the previous video, I will just come over the security rules section and show you what we created in, in this rules called Assign Group to Stream. So basically it says for every user belonging to the group access stream, which created in the um, custom properties section, um, I assign and I give access to the finance and IT streams, except for user free, which I give access only to the finance stream. So to sum up, in a preview mode, both user one and two have access to both finance and IT stream, and my user free has access only to the IT stream. Okay, cool. But now I would like to manage my security access at an application level as I don't want to give access my user to, to all applications of the finance stream. So to do so, I will go back to the menu and go to the custom property and let's create a new custom property group that we will call um, group access uh, finance app. and tick the box apps and users to associate these two resource types together. Um, then I will create two new values. The first one will be user one and the second one will be user two. I don't want to add the user three in this group because it doesn't have access to the finance stream. So it will be useless to add him to this group. So let's apply now user one and user two value uh, so keep in mind that at this point nothing will happen we have just created a custom group that will be useful for the next steps so now we can go to the app level and make sure crossing selling one and crossing selling two and make sure that the group we have just created show up on the custom property section of the app which is the case so for this example, we will add only user one to this one as I don't want to give access to my user two. And on the other apps, cross setting two, I will add user one and user two. Apply. So now let's come over to the user section and add to the user one and user two, the value user one and user two on the custom properties that we have just created. So here I will just add user one to this group and I go back to user two and add user two in the same group. Doing this just allows the system to understand that I give access to user one and user two to the group access finance app at the user's perspective. So now we have done that, we can now go back to the security rules section and open the default stream rule to add a new uh, condition. So this is the default stream rule. And in the condition section, there is already a script. It's basically saying if we are looking at the app and you have access to read the stream, then you can see that application. So now we are going to tweak the rule a little bit. Make sure you have copied past this default rule in the block note or somewhere else, just in case you want to go back to this default rule easily. Um, if you are not comfortable doing this in the default rule, you can still disable the rule here and create another rule based on this one. But for this video, I will modify the default rule 
in adding this piece just before the second conditions. Uh, basically, it says if this app has a customized property that is emptied, then it will show that app to the user. So before applying, make sure that this rule is valid. This is OK, so that now we can apply this rule. Cool. So at this stage, I will still not be able to give access to my user 2 and my user 1. If I Logging with my user two, which I will do in a second, I would expect that those apps in the finance stream don't show up at this stage because this rule gives access to an app which has an empty customized property, which is not the case for the two apps we have just created user one and or user two into this customized property. So let's make sure that this rule is valid and works well in logging with user one and user two. So when I log in with my user two, I will I would expect that those app doesn't show up in the final stream, and sure enough, they didn't. And same behavior if I log in with my user one, I would expect the same the same behavior in my finance stream and sure enough they didn't show up okay so my rule works for the moment but let's add the final piece to this configuration in adding a new rule to make the apps available to my user one and two in the finance stream so let's go back to the security rules section and add a new rule and in this rule, we tick the box read and say that for every user belonging to the group access finance app, we just create a new custom property. We want to give access to the apps, which has this value, user one, user two, and so on, in the custom property of the app. So let's apply the, the rule and preview it to see if it understood what we would like to do. And yes, in the preview mode, we can see that my user one have access to both cross-selling one and two apps, and my user two have only access to cross-selling two. So let's verify it in logging with user one and user two in the app section. So I'm logging with the user one, and I would expect to see those apps show up in the finance stream and sure enough they did okay let's do that for the user 2 if it's also work for the user 2 and i would expect to see only the cross selling 2 available for my user 2 and this is the case great you are now able to assign different apps to several users belonging to the same group and by extension to different groups. However, keep in mind that this method works very well in a relatively simple ClickSense environment, meaning if you have already customized a lot of security rules and or assigned several different rules to your users with many restrictions related to those rules, I wouldn't recommend following this method as it could break some of the customized security rules you have previously created. Alternatively, if you are in this case, meaning running a quite complex ClickSense environment, another method that I will be presenting in the next video, in the next few weeks, will definitely suit you better. This has been the ABM system video on how to create customized groups and how to use them in ClickSense part two. I do hope this video was helpful to you and I do hope you enjoyed it. If you want any further information, do not hesitate to contact ABM System by email at info at Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.